All right. Now, I mentioned in a video before I was going to do something about the Muslims. Uh, I was going to talk about the Muslims. If every Muslim was a fucking psychopath that wanted to murder all Christians and Jews and destroy you, the U.S. would have been gone, renamed something else, and we would have been living under Sharia law for quite some time. Now, what makes me say that? According to the Pew Research Center, there are 2,600,000 Muslims. Now, if every one of them would do that, if even half of them wanted to do that, that's a big standing army that can wipe out the entire United States. Yeah, I see a lot of these bitches. It's like, oh, I'll fight tooth and nail. No, you fucking won't. You'll cower like a little bitch. The big talkers are the guys who won't do shit. Now, I find the Pew Research number to be inaccurate because anybody can... can, can <laughs> convert to Islam at any time period. There are many people who haven't come out about their Islam, so I find that number to be a little bit larger. At 0.8% of the United States population, 2,000, 2,600,000. Okay, now I have a Quran right here. Now, one of my friends, his sister actually brought it over because she was wanting him to convert to Islam because she found so much peace in it. And me personally, I almost converted, I almost. But I like sex without marriage. Uh, I, I didn't convert because I couldn't be an outstanding Muslim. That's one of the reasons why. But I understand that Muslims are great people, and they're nice people generally, but you always get a group of psychopaths. Now, let's talk here for a moment. I wrote a couple things here in the Quran. Uh, hope I don't piss off any of my Muslim friends. Here. They actually talk about the things that they say in the book, because you got all these assholes who are like, Oh, the book says to kill Jews and gays. Yeah. Well, they do talk about stoning and things of that nature, for if you cheat and all that shit. But here's the thing. If a guy cheats, he gets stoned too. Okay, Surah 532. Because this we ordain unto the children of Israel, that if anyone slays a human being, unless it be punishment for murder or for spreading corruption on earth, it shall be as though he has slain all mankind. Whereas if anyone saves a life, it shall be as though he saved all mankind. This speaks against the bombing incidents. You know, like the Boston bombing, all of 9-11, all these suicide attacks that you hear about constantly where you get a couple kids wind up blown to shit, all these fuckers over in the Middle East that will put like bombs and shit on children and tell the children to run towards a couple soldiers and they blow up and die. That shit? Yeah. That's against Islam. So you fuckers, if any of you radicals are watching this, you fucked up! <laughs> oh, you're going to Muslim hell. Surah, that was Surah 532. 429, nor kill yourselves, verily that all law have all must be merciful. Hmm. Forgot why I mentioned that one. Now here's one about peace. Surah 490. Thus, if they let you be, and do not make war on you, and you you know, and offer you peace, God does not allow you to harm them. In other words, if they decide, okay, we're beaten, we're done, you can't fucking kill them. Even if you want to. You're not allowed to. That's against Islam. Alright, Surah 2, Part 1, 62. Those who believe and those who follow the Jewish people, the Christians, and the Sabians. Who the fuck are the Sabians? Anyone who believe in Allah and the last day and walk righteousness shall have their reward with the High Lord. On them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. Now, I've heard a lot of Christians say, oh, the, the, the God of the Christians and the Jews, it's different than the God of Islam. Well, seeing as though that Surah right there that my boss, well, former boss, stupid cunt, wrote up on the sticky note, that right there just proves that it is the same, according to the Islamics. According to the Muslims, that the God is the same. So stop talking shit, okay? You don't know shit about these people. Every group of any religious group, any religious group has a bunch of psychopaths in it. 
I bet you didn't know this. The Ku Klux Klan, they consider themselves to be a family Christian organization. They always have since their enactment, since they were formed after the Civil War. The Buddhists, my religion, has a bunch of psychopaths in it. Have you ever heard of the Eco Iki? It has a bunch of fucking fanatics and psychopaths from 16th century Japan. And you see a bunch of Muslims, not Muslims, Buddhists in places like India and Myanmar where they're killing Muslims left and right for just stupid things. But also on the flip notes, the Myanmar thing, a whole bunch of Buddhists uh, burned down some uh, mosques and cities that belong, well, towns that belong to Muslims. Buddhist temples have actually taken these people in and gave them shelter. So, you know, there's always a flip side of things. There's always a group of radical psychopaths that will utilize things like religious texts in order to bolster and make, canonize their beliefs that they're the righteous ones. This happens in all religions. It's not just one religion. Now, that being said, I'm really done. I'm done with this. I still want to know what you guys think. Alright. Have a nice day.